You know, really, when you think about what's called a musical or an opera, it usually has, nine times out of ten, 99 times out of a hundred, really predictable musical forms. I think that's true. Yeah. For me, anyway, in Some, my Someone experience. may accuse you of that, too. In what way? Well, that it's predictable. What, the music you listen to? Yeah, they do. Really, I'd like to see who. <laughs> yeah, well... Well, you, you. Well, what are the influences, musically? I mean, you know, yeah. what, what, what are the segments that you're putting together? Well, I mean, it is sort of well, the ADF sound, which is a mixture of yeah, we all know, drum and bass, hip hop, and that's pretty good. Like, yeah, but with North African musicians and the Eno Orchestra. That that's so that it's, hasn't so been so it's the where's that thing going? Well, let me ask you some questions. Then. All right. All right. So, what did you think when you first uh, heard the music and saw the script? I thought the music had terrific drive. I think that all the things that you and various other people like Luca have added into it, I think that it's I mean, really a very, very much richer piece musically than it was. Yeah. And I think a much more successful piece than it was. But, th but that was always going to be part of the process. Yeah, of so, you know, that, 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 that's... Uh, that's fine. I was very excited by the subject, too, um, because I just, I just think it's great if, if you know, opera and theatre just has to engage with the big themes of its time. And, but I do think, I think one thing I think about um, doing pieces about famous people is that you've got to be able to get rid of all the famous names and still have an exciting yeah, yeah. story, if you know what I mean. And I, and I hope that's what we're gradually achieving. No, I think that's true. In a way, you know, looking at it now, it would be it would be just as interesting to say this, you know, to invent the country. Yeah, and what if there was a ruler? Yeah, and all in a different name. Well, I mean, without without trying to pitch it too high, we don't go to to Richard II of Shakespeare because we want to find out how it really was no. with Richard II. We go because uh, Shakespeare uses that theme, that that life, to explore extraordinary things that seem still seem to be relevant. And I guess that's what we're hoping this yeah. piece will do too. I mean, to me, it's a, it's about the, the, it's about the large things. You know, it's not so much about whether it's an accurate portrayal of Gaddafi the character or Jalut the character, which obviously it isn't. can't be. It can't be. You know, and, and we actually say it in the piece. We say we actually don't really know who he is. We say it. I don't think anyone in Libya does. I'm not sure either. No, I think um, that's part of the mystique. Yeah. We say you will not break the myth that surrounds you. Yeah. We say it from the start. But I do think we show the larger effects of colonialism, of the centrality of oil as a basis of international but relations. Oil, but oil is a, I, I think to theatricalise Gaddafi and Reagan as well. Indeed, was a statement in itself. Keep on